Uh, what you're going to see uh, is uh, next year for public schools uh, is uh, a request of about a 5% increase over what was funded last year by the legislature. Uh, that's good news, but I, I think it's important to understand why we're able to make those projections. It's because Governor Otter and the legislature did the right thing by, uh, by uh, budgeting to a conservative estimate and not an optimistic estimate, and by keeping spending to levels based on what we knew revenue would be, not what we hoped revenue would be. Look what's happening in Washington, just one state over. They have a balanced budget amendment just like Idaho does. But to balance their budget, their legislature set a, a, a revenue projection that was optimistic and most people knew was unreachable. And then they balanced to that. They, they, they budgeted to that, I should say. And now they're in the middle of the school year and they've got to find $500 million to cut out of their education system in the middle of the school year. Governor Otter and the legislature chose not to set us up for that failure. They, they, they took the heat and they, they, they took the criticism of setting a budget based on a conservative estimate of revenue. And now because of that, we see that our revenues are actually going to uh, exceed expectations and we're going to be able to increase the amount of funding that goes to our schools. So you're going to see full funding of the pay for performance plan that moves forward without having to shift any money from salary based apportionment to accomplish that. Uh, you're going to see full funding for the technology uh, investments that we're moving forward without, sp without shifting any money from salary based apportionment to accomplish that and we're going to fully fund growth. We're fully going to fund the salary grid, which means if teachers have taught another year and they've increased the amount of education they have, they're going to see an increase in their pay because of that. There's not going to be very many states across the country that are going to be able to tout those kinds of accomplishments, but that's the kind of budget that the governor and I have proposed for the legislature for next year. And finally, you know, we've turned the corner and you're not going to see us trying to figure out how to uh, cut more funding from, from, a, from a budget that's already very, very tight.